Avroff and Rex Tillerson both saying they're open to discussing more, more of these ceasefire zones throughout the country of Syria. How big a step is this, the news that we've just gotten from the G20 in Hamburg? Well, I think it, it, it sounds positive. We'll have to see how it plays out and we'll have to see how it impacts the actors on the ground. Obviously, if it secures Jordan and helps protect uh, Jordan, a strong U.S. ally, that's a very good thing. If it provides uh, a cover for uh, other activities that are destabilizing, then that's not so good. So. The devil's in the details on this one, and it has to be executed. Let me ask you about NATO. It was something that came up in the speech the president gave yesterday uh, in Warsaw. He reiterated something that he said before, which is that Europe needs to do more. No doubt you've heard this president talk a lot about funding commitments from uh, other allies in the NATO alliance. Uh, does he have a better grasp on the role of NATO in the world now that he's been on the job here five, six uh, months? And uh, you know, is, is, is he doing enough to affirm uh, Article 5? Well, um, first of all, there's no way to know what his grasp is on NATO. I mm -hmm. think it's a good thing that nations are stepping up and trying to increase their uh, defense expenditures because these nations do need to invest in more modern technology to help the United States when we all go into these operations together. Um, but um, I, I don't know whether the Europeans are fully um, re uh, uh, reassured yet because the meeting with, with Putin itself is... Uh, contributes to the uh, the fear and the anxieties inside Eastern Europe. They know very well what Russia has done. And uh, Donald Trump's passing reference to it yesterday was good in the speech. But what comes out in the press conferences and, and the actions that follow this are going to be critical. Russia and Vladimir Putin will always act on their own interests. And their interests are in destabilizing these Eastern European countries in rolling back the European Union and westernization and giving Russia the control on its buffer states in the border zones to, uh, to Germany. And that's what, that's their uh, undying, unchanging effort. Year after year, various means, this is one more approach. And perhaps they think in President Trump they've got someone who's more open to this. We'll have to see.